Hello and welcome to a few wages control account uh, questions that we're just going to do. Really, um, I'm also giving you the four step method of, of creating the or completing your wages control accounts. And so I've set up a series of a series of questions um, in here and we'll just see how they work. So um, I put the, um, the steps on the right hand side. So step one, put the numbers. So we've got this question here. We've got this question here. We've got these numbers and it says, um, the question is, um, complete the uh, journals and uh, the uh, wages control account. Uh, so you could take those numbers and you could try and go straight to these uh, journals here and try and go straight to these uh, to this um, control account here. But as I explained in the uh, in the four step method, what we do is instead we do a table first um, and, and then we uh, complete that table and that then produces for us our um, our journals and our control accounts. So let's go through here. So step one, put the numbers into the table. So what we got? Net wages. Well, net wages is down here at the bottom. So that's five seven two five one in here. And I've also conditional formatted this spreadsheet so that it turns green when when we got the number right. Okay. Employers national insurance. So employers national insurance is here. Uh, two three eight five. Employees national insurance. Uh, here you'll typically have those together in your questions. Uh, trade union contributions, so 238. Uh, other employee contributions, so I don't know, they might have some CSA uh, things or something else like that there. Okay, goes into there. Income tax, 12721. Goes in there. And then employees' pension contributions, 7155. And employers' pension contributions. I've sort of messed those up a little bit, obviously, uh, to try and get them different to the employers and the employees' national, national insurance. Right, so, step one, then, I've completed my table. So, you see here now, I've got gross pay left to do and the total cost to employers. So, the gross pay is going to be the summation of all of that. So, let's just add all those together. To get that figure there. And then, the total cost is going to be the gross pay plus the employer's contribution, pension contributions and the employer's national insurance to give us our total gross pay. So that's, uh, first of all, then we've completed our steps in terms of step one, put the numbers in the table, step two, complete the table. Right, step three, prepare the journals. So the total, first one is the wages expense and the wages control. So the total, that's going to be the total cost to employers. Oh, so, then. Um, then the next one is the HMRC control account. Well, that's going to be the, uh, the all of the taxes. So there's going to be three taxes, the employer's national insurance, the employee's national insurance, and the income tax. And so there, there. Then we've got the pension control. So we've got two pension figures, haven't we? Employer's pension contribution and employee's pension contribution. And we're going to do that there. And then we've got the trade union one. So we'll do the trade union one there. And we've got the other employee contributions. We've got those in. And then the bank is going to be the net wages. So, okay, so that's got our, we've prepared our journals then. And now we're going to post our journals to our, our control account, our wages control account. So the uh, the credit is um, all of the, the total expense. So the total wages control account expense, there's the credit there. Then we've got our HMRC control account here. And our pensions, there, and our trade union, there, and our other employees, there, and our bank, there. And you can see now our figures balance at the bottom. And that is how to do uh, the wages control account there in that four step method. I'll do another one for you now. Uh, so we got. And here different things now then so step one we're going to complete the table so different uh, different numbers now then so this one starts with total cost of the employer so we start there employees pension contributions employers pension contributions trade unions other employee contributions income tax employees national insurance And employers national insurance so here I've given you a very full set you might not get have some of these some of these might might not be uh, no, no, oh, sorry, that wasn't employers uh, employers national insurance sorry is that figure there employers pension contribution sorry was that I went I over I drove the wrong one okay so first of all then I take these numbers here that were given in the question and I drop them into the table and you'll see that you'll, you'll have either one or two of these uh, these boxes emptied 
And then also the gross pay is the total cost of the employer minus the employer's pension contributions minus the employer's national insurance. And the net wages is going to be the gross pay minus all of the other um, deductions, the employee deductions. Oh, sorry, and then gross pay minus. Let's just do it the long way anyway. Okay, so step t step one, put the initial numbers that was given in the question in the table. Step two, complete the table. Right, step three, prepare the journal. So the wages control account, uh, the total, the credit one in there is the total cost of the employer. And the because the debit is the expense. Yeah. And then the HMRC control account, um, the debit into the wages control account is going to be the taxes. So the employer's national insurance, income tax, employer's national insurance. And the pensions one is going to be two pensions contributions, employer's pension contributions and employee's pension contributions. And the trade union one is going to go there. And the other expenses are going to go there. And the net wages is the bank, well, the wages control account and the bank payment. Okay, so uh, step three, prepared my journals. Yeah. So um, in my in my wages control account then, so my total wages expense is the credit, and then my HMRC control account is the three um, the three taxes that I had to pay: income tax, employers' national insurance, and employees' national insurance. The pension control account was the two pensions one, the employer's pension contributions and the employee's pension contributions. The trade union one was the trade union contributions. The other employees is the other employee's contributions. And the bank one is the net wages figure. And there you can see again uh, the control account balances. I quite like doing this in terms of repetition and, and the reason for this this method is let's just do this. Uh, so let's do number number three. Right, so we got a whole uh, so a different set of numbers here again. Right, so here we go. We've got gross pay. Step one, let's put them all in. The trade union contributions, other employee contributions, employers' pension contributions, employees' pension contributions, employees' national insurance, employers' national insurance, and income tax. Okay. So I'm, in these questions, well, I'm giving you the full list of things might be that there wasn't any income tax or something like that that they put in uh, probably there will there'll, there'll very rarely be a, other employees contributions and there probably will rarely be trade union contributions as well typically it'll be the other ones in there so we put our boxes in we got two different boxes now we've got a complete really here and that's really the, the question so uh, the total cost of the employers is going to be the gross pay plus the employers pension contributions plus the uh, employers national insurance uh, contributions and the net wages are going to be the gross pay minus the all of the employee deductions there. So step two, we've completed our table. Then let's go through and do our, well, our wages control account. The credit balance is going to be the total cost of the employer. And that's the total wages expense as well. That's the debit and the profit and loss account. The HMRC control account is our three taxes. We have an income tax. And that would be the debit to the control account. Then the pension control account is the two pension contributions, the employer's pension contributions and the employee's pension contributions. The trade union one is the trade union one, and that would be the debit to the control account. And the other employee's control account is going to be that one, and the debit is going to be to the control account. And then the bank payment is the net wages payment that we make on the bank, and the wages control account. Is going to be uh, so the debit is going to be the wages control account. So here, wages expense credit, the wages control account with the total cost of the employer, and then the HMRC debit is going to be um, the uh, national insurance, the pen, uh, the national insurance, the two national insurance employers, and national employers and employees, and income tax. The pension one is the two pension contributions, employers and employees pension contributions. The trade union one is the trade union one. Other employees are going to be the employees, and the bank is the net wages. And there you'll see our control account balances to nothing. Let's do it again, shall we? Just to make sure that we get this right. Okay, so different set of numbers here. Net wages is the first one. So let me drop that in the table there. Employer, employees, national insurance here. Employee. 
Oh, that was employers national insurance. Sorry, um, employers national insurance happened to be that employees was the same. Could have been different. Uh, trade union contributions and other contributions are the same. It's unusual. The odds of this of this question actually the way which I've set this question up is I've um, I've done a sort of random number uh, generator on here. Um, and then uh, and, and then I'll, and and then it just just works its way through and produces these questions for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. So employees pension contributions go there, and employers pension contributions goes there, and income tax is there. Right. So now we've got two boxes left to fill in. That's step two. So the gross pay would be the net uh, wages plus all of the um, employees deductions that figure and the total cost of the employer is the gross pay plus the employers pension contributions plus the national insurance employers national insurance that gives us uh, our completion now of our table and so let's now do our journals so the credit to the wages control account is the total cost of the employer uh, the debit is the expense is, is the, the wages expense that total cost of employer there debit wages expense credit uh, control account then we go debit control account with the three taxes, employers, national insurance, employees, national insurance, and income tax. And that's going to be credit the HMRC control account. Then the pension control account is uh, debit the wage control, employers, pension contributions, and employees, pension contributions, and credit the pension control account. And then debit the wages control account for trade union contributions and credit the trade union control account and uh, debit the wages control account for other employee contributions and credit the other employee contribution control account. And then debit the wages control account with the net wages figure and credit the bank account because that's what we paid it from. Uh, so that gives us our journals over here. Then we can just now drop our journals in. So credit the wages control account for the wages, then debit. HMRC control account, debit for the uh, for the pension control account, debit the uh, the trade union control, or well, the one that we're going to the trade union. You know, so, sorry, let's go back and do that again. So it will be debit wages control account, credit HMRC control account, debit um, wages control account, credit pension control account, debit um, wages control account, credit trade union control account, uh, debit uh, the other uh, the wages control account, credit the other employee control account, and debit. The wage of control account, credit the bank account. So just to be clear about these numbers, these names in here, I just said uh, the op this is the opposite side. This is where it's gone into the wage of control account in here, and the credit side would go into the uh, those particular control accounts, which would be elsewhere in our general ledger. So that's four examples. Um, I think hopefully you'll see how the the uh, four step method uh, works. Um, good luck. Uh, you probably if you're with me in a, in a class, you'll be doing the other other two as well. Uh, but hopefully you would have would have uh, by this point uh, got it nailed down anyway. I uh, hope that's useful and the repetition is is helpful. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.